How do I replace the heating element in my dryer? Replacing the heating element in a dryer can vary depending on the make and model of your dryer. However, the general steps are as follows. Please note that these are general instructions and you should consult your dryer's manual for specific instructions for your model. Safety precautions. Before you begin, make sure to unplug the dryer from the power source to ensure your safety. Materials you'll need. New heating element make sure it's compatible with your dryer model. Screwdriver. Pliers. Putty knife. Multimeter for testing purposes. Steps. Access the heating element. Open the dryer door and remove the lint filter. Locate the heating element, which is usually found at the back of the dryer or behind the front panel. Remove the dryer covers. Depending on your dryer's design, you may need to remove the dryer's top panel or front panel to access the heating element. Consult your dryer's manual for specific instructions on how to remove these panels. Disconnect wiring. Take a photo or make note of the wiring connections to the heating element. Carefully disconnect the wires from the heating element terminals. Remove the old heating element. Remove any screws or brackets securing the heating element to the dryer. Gently pull out the heating element from its housing. It may be held in place by brackets or clips. Install the new heating element. Insert the new heating element into the housing in the same position as the old one. Secure the heating element in place with screws or brackets. Reconnect wiring. Reconnect the wiring to the new heating element terminals, making sure to match the connections from your notes or photo. Replace dryer covers. If you removed the front or top panel, carefully reattach them according to your dryer's manual. Test the dryer. Plug the dryer back into the power source. Turn on the dryer and select a heat cycle to see if the new heating element is working properly. Final checks. Make sure there are no loose parts or wires. Close the dryer door and run a full cycle to ensure everything is functioning correctly. Note. If you're not comfortable with DIY repairs or if your dryer is still under warranty, it's recommended to contact a professional technician or the manufacturer's customer service for assistance. Incorrect installation can cause safety hazards or further damage to your dryer.